In this tutorial, you can learn how to make these beautiful heart-shaped boxes. Give to your sweetheart. First, we'll create a new fireworks document. I'll make mine 800 pixels wide by maybe 550 high. Actually, I'll just make it 500. There we go. Now I'm going to open the Auto Shapes library. And I think you can get to that through Window, Auto Shapes. And down in there, you'll find a heart. Now, if you're not using fireworks, you just have to draw one out. So I'm going to adjust the cleft and adjust the vertex until I have a nice heart shape. The heart shape that I want. And your heart shape doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm just going to scale this. I'm going to grab it scale it down until I have something like that. Now I'm going to make a copy of that. Control C, Control V and then bring the copy down. So this will be the top of my box and this will be the bottom. So the bottom has to be a little bit smaller than the box top. So let's go ahead and make that an even number as well. 435, that sounds good. Or an odd number, sorry. 435. Put it into the middle. Alright, now I'm going to select the top one and zoom in by holding control and mouse wheeling and I'm gonna make a copy of that one on top again control C control V now move that new copy down change the color of it to be a little gray or something or whatever you want and then take the one on top again and move it to front by pressing control shift and the up arrow key or you can use the little boxes up here these will let you move to front send to back and things like that so now you adjust the depth that you want your box top to be by moving this up and down. So let me move back out. I want mine right about there. Maybe a little higher. Now I'll zoom back in and I'm going to grab my pen tool and I'm just going to connect these shapes so there's not this little dimple that goes in here. I'm just going to make a straight shape going up here. So I'm going to start right here. Click down, let go. Then I'm going to hold my shift key to make sure it stays a straight line. Then I'm going to click down right here. Then I could just go somewhere here and then right there and there's my little shape now I'll just bring this heart back to the front now I can take this control C control V flip it and drag it over to this side to put it in place and if you don't get it exactly in place it needs to be 120 Y just make sure it's at 120 Y just move it with your arrow keys okay? now we're gonna take these highlight all three of these shapes this gray heart this shape and this shape all together by holding shift and then I'm going to go to modify combine paths and union now we're going to copy this the black heart control C control V now there's two of them but don't move it now we're going to highlight this black shape and this shape the gray one underneath modify combine paths and punch so now you see what you have we'll highlight this shape zoom in take the pen tool start right here Hold shift to make a straight line and go up to about right there. Then we'll just go across to about right there. Then about right here. And if you don't get that point right, that's okay. You can fix it. Then go down to right here and then across to here. Now what you can do is hit your sub selection tool and hit this point and then just move it over with your key, your arrow keys to make sure it's a straight line. Back out a little bit. Now what we're going to do is combine these two shapes, so or union them. So let's highlight these two together by holding shift as we select, modify, combine paths, and union. Now what we'll do is select this one, press control C, control V to make a copy, then bring that copy to front. Now we can select these together, this one and this one, then modify, combine paths, and punch. Now you have a nice bottom shape that is perfectly shaped up against the top. So I'm going to give this shape, let's select that one, go down here and gradient radial. Bring this down a little bit right there. I'm going to change the colors. Let's go to the bright red for the center and then the outer color, darker red. We can even darken that up a little bit more if we like. Okay. This one will make a little darker as well. There we go. Now these two shapes, I'm going to give those gradient of bars. Now I'll adjust the color and we can select this bright red here in the center. And this can remain a nice dark color. 
Actually, what we can do is add another color here. So let's move this color in a little bit. Select, click down right here, and it'll add a new color. And then that one can be as dark as you like. So let's leave it that color where it's nice and dark. And this one we can brighten up a little bit. Something like that. Now I want to get a little black shape that's going to be the shadow under the box top. So I'll select the box top, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to make a copy. And then I can move it off to the side and I'll give it a solid black. And I'm going to make it the same width as the box bottom. Just scale it so it's the same width as the box bottom. And then you can put it back up, maybe about right there. Then select the box top again the edge of the box top, control C, control V, bring the new copy to front. Now we'll use this to punch this shape out. So we can move this up into place, maybe right about there, then select these both together. Go to modify, combine paths, and punch. Now you just have a little strip, that's the shadow. Now I'm gonna take the sub selection tool and hit this little point right here and drag it down a little bit. Same with this edge, and it's hard to grab those points, so you can zoom in if you need to. It's like a million points over here. There we go. And let's just make sure that this is to the front. Bring it to front, and then you can maneuver this anywhere you need to, to make any depth of shadow that you want for the box top. You can also take down the opacity, and it'll look something like that. And if you want, you can add the filter of blur, and add some blur to it if you want. Now all we have to do is add some lines for accenting the front edges. So I'll select this shape, zoom in on it, and I'm going to go to the line tool. And then I'll just press down right here, try to get it centered the best I can, right here. And go up to about right there. And I can adjust the width on it, make it 5 or 3. And adjust the height a little bit, 44 maybe, there we go. And I'm going to make the same line. For the box bottom right here something like that and then make sure that this line select this line and the box bottom and bring to back send to back that way your shadow comes over that line I'm gonna make two more lines start right here and draw up dragging as I draw something like that then I can make an exact copy of that control C control V flip it and then just use my arrow keys to move it over into place. Now we'll select this line, go up to Commands, Creative, Auto Vector Mask, and then select the way you want it to mask, Apply. Now you can see this edge kind of fades off. The white color fades off. Actually, let's remove this one, make a copy of this one. Control C, Control V, flip it, and then move this one into place. All right, now you can back off a little bit, go back to 100%, and then change the opacity on these lines for instance just bring these down to something like that and then these as well bring their opacity down what were these 32 let's just make those 32 also okay so there you have a completed heart shaped box and you can make the bottom a darker color than the box top but i just decided to make it all the same color okay now let's have some fun and make a little valentine's day card out of this this will be part of the graphics that is on the card. I'm going to highlight everything, press Ctrl G, and move it off to the side. But what I want to do is draw a shape, a rectangle, right around my canvas. And I'm going to change this gradient to radial. Then I'm going to grab the pen tool. I'm going to click down right about here. And I'm going to go to right about here. I might have to zoom out a little bit. But I'm going to go to here and click down and hold and drag until I have a nice curve. Then click here, 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 and there. Now you have a shape that you can give any fill that you want. Now let's zoom back into 100%. Change the ellipse color, something like that. And then we'll get a darker red. But we want to make that much darker. So it has a nice contrast to the other part of the background. We'll move this gradient where we want. We can size it, make it thinner. Put it right about there. Now let's change that edge from white to like a golden color. Bring it up to maybe two or three. Then we'll change that to unnatural, let's see, fluid splatter. Take it back down to two. Then it looks something like a gold chain or a gold necklace maybe. 
Now let's take our box, our heart shaped box again. Drag it here, make sure to bring it to front by pressing Control shift up arrow key. Now I'm just gonna make a copy of that. Control C, Control V. Put the copy back over here. And go ahead and modify, flatten this one and scale it down till it's something about that size right there. Put it into place. I can drop a little shadow on it. Shadow and glow, drop shadow. And now that's a great start to a Valentine's Day card. You can move this gradient around back here. If you want to have, if it's too much, if it's too bright right here and it con it's not enough contrast, you can just move this somewhere over here or whatever you want. And then you can write words in there with really pretty text. And another cool effect is to add a, a sparkle. So you can draw a star and give that star the colors that you want in the gradient. And make sure it has a radial gradient. Make the colors white. Then on the outer edge, bring the opacity all the way down. Then we can adjust the radius and give it as many points as we want. I'll give it that many. Then I'll press Control C, Control V to make another copy. Then I'll scale the copy down and I'll rotate it a bit to where it fits right in there. Then I'll highlight both of those together. Go to Modify, Combine Path, or actually let's just flatten it and then we can scale it down. So we have a little sparkle. We can put the little sparkles everywhere. Something like that. Now you can just write in some pretty text and you have a really cool... I'm gonna darken this one a little bit. I'm gonna bring this gradient over right about there. So that's a nice finished effect. You can make some really, really pretty Valentine's Day cards. Now in the very next tutorial, we're gonna go from design to programming. So we're gonna use this exact imagery to make a really cool custom canvas application that you can allow other people to use to render custom holiday greeting cards or whatever kind of graphics that you want. We'll be using the HTML5 canvas and some JavaScript and some PHP actually, but it's very easy.